so sorry that you've had to wait so long. It's been absolutely crazy here in the a &E today. Okay, so you're here for your split lip. I can see that. Okay, now I believe my colleague has asked you a number of questions, correct? Um, have you had any dizziness or any headaches? Okay, did you black out at all? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine, no problem. Okay then. So I'm just going to quick look over now, make sure everything's as it should be. It's just the form you filled in. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So, when did you actually do this with your lip? Okay. So you'd say about four or five hours ago. Okay. Why didn't you come to the A&E straight away? You thought it would congeal. Okay. No problem. So, what I'm going to do first, if you just keep holding that tissue against your lip, okay, I'm just going to take your temperature, okay, make sure there's no signs of infection just yet, which there shouldn't be, so, let's have a little look, here we go, that's absolutely fine, 6.7, are you here alone or do you have family in the waiting area? your mum. Okay. Right then, so what I'm going to do first is just going to clean up. Okay. Now this might sting a bit. Um, this uh, solution is antiseptic basically and it just cleans the wound completely, just make sure there's no bacteria, it's not going to get infected. Um, however, as I'm sure you can imagine it's it might sting a little okay okay so I'm just gonna come close to you okay if you can be yeah, on I'll have that tissue let's pop that in there bin okay nice and still for me that's it okay need three or four as we call butterfly stitches in your lip okay just gonna do one more clean okay imagine it's very painful. Okay, do you mind telling me how you did it? Oh, okay. Maybe uh, you can put a claim in there then. <laughs> okay, that's absolutely fine. Now I'm just going to give you a clean tissue and if you could just hold it with pressure against your lip, okay, as much as you can without being in severe pain, okay, yeah, just keep it right there, okay, just going to get a few of my things, okay, and um, now, I'm going to put on a little bit of numbing cream, okay, um, you could have the injection or cream, but I'm thinking cream, I'm sure you've had enough pain as it is, okay, run the lip, 
Now, if you could just pull down the tissue for me. Okay. I'm just going to rub that on generously. stitches um, they will just dissolve um, and they'll just come out um, a bit like paper would dissolve uh, after you've been washing and wear and tear of every day you'll uh, you'll find that you'll rub and just come out really easily it just holds the wound together for a little bit of time okay for a day or two um, for the less serious wounds and cuts and that you know so that's all that is but with yours it's not just something that will congeal on its own it just needs a little bit of help and so um that's why i'm going to be giving you these butterfly stitches today okay just let me know when it feels completely numb around your lip okay it is okay now just pull that tissue down and tell me if you can feel this okay no nothing okay safe to say that it's numb okay just going to give it another wipe it still keeps dripping just need to put the first one butterfly stitch in okay they're all sterile okay there we go and then if you just sit nice and steady okay And you might need to force out another, another two. Pull it 
little more antiseptic cream on. Just make sure all the, the wound in the area is clean before I send you on your way and then I will cover it, okay, with a bandage. Just if you keep it on for the next couple of hours, okay. So now I'm just going to dab okay very gently over the stitches so I'm just going to dab 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 still a little bit of blood I think I'm going to use a swab for this one get in the nukes and crannies <laughs> there. you see with blood if it's left it turns bad and again can just um, start to create bacteria and fester so it's always best to keep it perfectly clean before I put the sterile bandage on. Okay, so that's that done. And now the last bit is the bandage. As I say, you only need to keep this on for at least two hours. Okay, are you ready? There. Just smoothing out around the edges. You're still relatively numb. Okay. That should wear off within half an hour as well. Okay. There, okay. So you're all nice and stitched up, nice and clean and bandaged. Okay. If you get any pain, just take some pain reliever. Okay, that should take the edge off it a little bit. You can take that bandage off within, I'd say, leave it on at least two hours and then you can remove it. The stitches will fall out on their own. But if you can keep the area relatively clean, okay, um, then it'll be right as rain in no time. Now, could you just sign this form? Thank you. This just obviously basically says that everything I've done for you today, what treatment you've had, etc. Yeah, just there. Okay, thank you. And so that's it for now. So hopefully um, you'll start feeling better real soon. No problem, it's my pleasure. Okay. I try and enjoy the rest of the week and don't get into any more accidents. Okay, bye bye.